evening, ladies and gentlemen, and I welcome all of you back to another rage video where tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we ask the question, now that we've seen possibly the very best that Avenged Sevenfold has ever had to offer, does the rest of the album stack up to that same level of quality, or... Is this where things sort of begin to change? I have no idea. And continuing with the theme for this al this album, I decided that from this point onwards, we're not going to guess. We're just going to listen and we can see if we can point out exactly what Sevenfold were taking their inspiration from. It might be obvious in some cases. Other cases, it might not be. But... Let's find out together, shall we? So, if you guys want to check out the original video for yourselves, links will be in the description down below. Let's begin. Doing time in three, now! <laughs> The lives of some boys. If walls can talk to spill the yeah, lies, we see the world through devil's eyes. Do this proper. I didn't even realize it was set this low. Everybody's doing their time.
you know what? It's you know what's even you know what's freaking crazier is that first of all, in terms of just like it's it's very easily uh, taking uh, leaves out of uh, Guns N' Roses book. Um, but I'll tell you what else. Um, I never thought about like worth mentioning, but probably something that's obviously become a little bit like referencing right now is the fact that every single song, but well, basically it takes like the themes in terms of like how people, how they play and what angles they go for and what, what is it about different styles that makes them so unique? Because I don't know if it's because of, uh, if you can imagine, like, Sin's uh, solos in this are sort of akin to the way Slash performs, or if it was in Hail to the King about the slow, winding build-up, and something of almost like a rustic, very, very simple uh, uh, beat of just... so. I mean, I don't know who exactly plays drums in this, but it's just... Doom. 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 So it's a, it's a melody between getting things fast-paced keeping things short, or for something that's longer, having things trail out and forebode and build a, a lovely sense of atmosphere. And here's the thing, probably even more important is that it's like for every cue they take, everything is like properly implementing as well. Like doing time is absolutely perfect for it to be only a three and a half minute song. Hail to the King was perfect for being five minutes. Shepherd of Fire was perfect for just being four minutes. And I hope to God that this is something that recurs throughout the rest. Because this sounds like these guys put a lot of work and a lot of, a, a lot of effort into this. And the effort, the, 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 the accomplishment is literally right on the screen because it just... It oozes character, personality, joy, and basically asks the question, what if Avenged Sevenfold did it? Which is all well and good, and even better in many cases. <laughs> and it's all their own stuff as well. It's not like they're just covering stuff. Gosh, incorporated. So, yeah, at least we get the satisfaction of what... Uh, <laughs> what what uh, Hail uh, Avenged Sevenfold would sound like if they they turned into Guns N' Roses or Black Sabbath or Metallica or Pantera or Megadeth. And there's plenty more where that came from, ladies and gentlemen. So watch this space. So anyway, I hope all of you guys have enjoyed this reaction video to Doing Time by Avenged Sevenfold. Please make sure to leave all your thoughts and comments in the comment section down below and what you guys felt of Doing Time for yourselves. And I cannot wait to see all of you guys again in the next video. Take care and bye-bye for now.